All right, so today we're gonna do a uh, little tutorial how to uh, remove the seats and take them apart and redo the leather. Um, I've already done the driver's side. My driver's side uh, leather was really bad. So I was I sourced some new leather seats, but just the leather. So I had to take off the old leather, put on the new one. So I'm, now I'm gonna do it for the passenger. Um, these seats aren't actually all that bad considering but i've already bought them so i might as well do it so let's get started so tools needed to take the seats out uh electric ratcheting if you've got it if not you can just use a, a, a ratchet um socket wrench you will need a long one to get some uh torque long handle this is an extension one Get some torque for the uh, 12, uh, 50 Torx bits, bolts that hold it down. There's five of those. So again, you need a 50 Torx, a 13 to unplug the battery, a seven millimeter to unplug the wiring harness um, and some extensions, and then some pry tools for the trim that covers up the bolts that hold down the seat. So the first thing is positioning the seat to get it out. First thing you want to do is take this off and it's a 50 Torx to remove the seat belt. Um, you do not need to do anything with this. This does not need to come off at all. Um, I did not mention it before, but the, the seat for the passenger and for the driver is the exact same if you want to swap them or if your driver is a uh, bottom seat is all worn out and all you can find is a passenger seat, that's not a problem because they're the exact same thing. Um, the big thing is positioning this. Uh, the whole seats are held down um, to the frame with four bolts coming up. They're 40 millimeter Torx and you wanna be able to get access to them. So we'll show that a little later, but essentially you want to make sure you've got access to those bolts after you remove it. Because remember, it's electric. You can't move everything um, once you take the seats out of the car. So first thing we're going to do is move the seat all the way back to expose our bolt locations and our wiring harness. This piece just pops off. You can just grab it and it'll come right off. And now we have to take these off. So the covers here and the ones on the back have tabs and they don't necessarily all go straight down. Some of them go to the side. So like this one goes to the side. And it's a lot easier to have a tool like this where you can get it free. But if you notice, none of them go down. But on the rear ones, they go down and the outside one looks like this so again it's just that one clip uh, going horizontal so I'm not going to do the wiring harness yet I'm going to do that last because I want to uh, unplug the battery to make sure the charge runs out of the airbag because these seats do have an airbag uh, but I am going to take this time to get the 50 Torx uh, bolts right here and one right here all right I've got those two bolts up so now I'm gonna slide this seat all the way up to expose the back bolts again there's five of the 50 Torx bits 50 Torx bolts holding down the seat in the rear. all right I got the covers off so and remember the rear ones all go down they're vertical the little tabs I'm talking about so they pop straight up this tool is works really well it can just pop everything up without breaking it uh, I suggest a long extension uh, it just makes it easier to get this last this bolt so we've got 50 Torx bolt here one here then one here all right so we're at the rear and you can feel 
the two Torx bolts come up. So obviously there'd be no way for me to get them. So I gotta scoot the whole thing back. So before I move it back, time to take this one bolt off for the uh, seat belt. All right, there was an electrical connection for the seat belt. Uh, passenger, kind of interesting. Um, not one for the driver's side, but there was one for the passenger side. So we'll move it back and do our best to feel where those bolts are. You will be able to get a straight shot of them for the rear ones. For the front ones, not necessarily, but you just want to have access to them. So can't really see down in there, but they're there. So little tip here, you can tip the seat back to give you exposure so you can see those bolts. So they're on a plate, they're down in right here. So I will have access to them. It's gonna be a little tight. Um, might need to move it up a little bit. All right, so if you have the seat in about this length back, you'll have uh, access to those four bolts. So go with that and you should be all right. All right, so now I'm gonna unplug the battery, let it uh, wait about 10, 15 minutes, make sure all the electricity is uh, out of the system for airbag sake. All right, so here's a picture of the electronics um it's a seven millimeter bolt you can just um unscrew that but uh you're gonna have to take out a couple of these um connectors from the back of it uh one of them is the airbag um the other one is this one of the seat powers so this is a nice little reference picture to uh, remember where which slots those go back into Okay, so we have our passenger seat out, so we're going to dismantle it. Um, first thing we need to do is remove this side piece. There's a uh, screw right here, then there's a screw about right up in here. Um, it's going to make it easier. Um, again, you do not have to take this off. So this is why you want that uh, to position it. When you uh, position the seat before you take it out, there's one Torx bolt right here. There's another one right here. And then you got two, two right here. So one difference between the uh, driver's seat and the passenger seat is this right here. This is only with the passenger seat. It's with the, uh, so they know where to turn the air bag off or on. So just unclip this now and disconnect this, to disconnect this wiring harness. So, so part of that system, so now I can just lean this back. Part of that system is right here, this hose. The driver's seat does not have any of this. And then just disconnect the electrical connection right here. All right, again, this is the passenger seat. You are going to want to disengage two of these from this wiring harness that's all you'll have to do one is the uh, heater and the the other one is the um, um, airbag so the airbag is yellow and then the heater one is this this long one right here so just remove this and we'll, uh, we'll show you how to remove it from the back. Now, you can take a flat blade, flat blade screwdriver, pry back the little thing that's keeping them in and you can remove those. Okay, so by taking those two out, 
we have disconnected everything. If you notice, we've not removed those two trim pieces. So we will now progress to the seat and removing the seat leather. All right, first thing we're gonna do is remove these two tabs. This, that one is uh, different. I think the seat's been out of the this car before because one of the uh, four bolts was missing. All right, second thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna release all these tabs. I found the best tool is a little pick. Just put it right under there and pry it out. I did use a flat blade screwdriver. The higher up you get, you can get leverage to get underneath here to undo those. But now we have that, so now I can just kind of peel off this back piece. So I've got my new not new, but better uh, seat bottom. So I fed the heating wiring through the hole. I'll do this first, and just because it's easier if you don't do those. And then I'll we'll, we'll snap those back in. Okay, I found a big pair of pliers. Put some tape over them to be able to get these uh, these in there. And uh, it's kind of weird. Get the bottom one in first and then snap it in with this, the top one. But just work your way around. All right, I got it on. You might have to remove the little module that's right there. I did just to be able to, to get right here to get these two clips. But uh, got it on, looks good. So now we're going to dismantle the rear, I mean the back. Um, we are going to have to remove this. We do not need to totally remove this. There's a screw here and there's another one back here and that'll let it hang. So we don't have to unplug any of the electronics. All right, so notice this little tab right here. Just this, this fits right over it on this trim piece. And you kind of have the same thing over here. You've got two of them, this one but you've got this fits right here. So it just kind of slides up and you can just let the whole thing kind of hang. You do have that one little post right there that keeps it secured. But other than that, you got that screw down there at the bottom and one screw up here, down here. So now we've exposed our bolts. We've got a 40 and a 40 Torx. Take those two off each side and the rear seat will just come right off. I mean, the back of it will come right off. So let's get all our wiring ready to come off. We we'll want to unplug this one. This is our power to the back seat, to the tilt. So that lifts out the seat and now we can get to work on the uh, the back of the seat. We're replacing that cushion. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is take off the arm. Obviously, there's just a little uh, um, cover right here. Then this is a 27 Torx bolt. Now, the secret is this is just to put it at about a 45 degree angle and then just wiggle it off. So after a little bit of wiggling, you can see there's a slot and that slot goes right there with this piece. So if you're at about a 45 degree angle, it lines up the slot with this post. All right, next we have to take off the head piece. Little trim pieces right here, just be careful. They kind of basically pull straight down. So if you need to get a trim tool in there, you know, try not to mar it up, but they pull straight down. That's how they come off. So next we got T30 bits right here. Just unscrew those. Now this is important. Do not pull up. You gotta pull straight out. You'll break these. So they, there's a thing that goes here and there's a thing that goes here. Just pull them straight out. Now you've got a hidden button on the side of the armrest. 
can push that and pull out the headrest. All right, now to remove the seat cover. It's all really about order of operations. So the first thing you want to do is flip it around. And we want to unattach this strip right here, along with taking these, uh, these little tabs off, tabs, whatever. Um, but do this little strip first. Next, we want to remove these, just pull them and they go into that hole and just wiggle them on out. Um, don't, don't bugger them up because you're going to need to use them to secure everything when we reattach everything. All right, now remove, I can't see it very well. There's, there's two little tabs holding this plastic down. I'll show it to you in a second. All right, pull these tabs through the little slots and you can start, after you do that, you can start kind of rolling down the leather. Now you, now you're gonna see these straps, these go around where the airbag is. So just keep on peeling back. If you noticed, I did not remove this little pin. I just worked the leather around this assembly for the arm rust. And then you're gonna find a second strap to release. Um, if you've got the lumbar support, you're only gonna have one strap because those airbags are a little smaller. Um, but if you don't have lumbar support, you're gonna have two of these straps. So now you should be able to roll it down to about here. There's gonna be three, there's gonna be some hog rings to, uh, to snap here. One, two, three, looks like mine's got two right here, but um, that's okay, just snip them off. All right, so after you do the hog rings, you can flip it over. And release, it's basically like one of these up in there. Just do that. It, this, that's probably one of the harder ones to get to. Um, but it's just like this, just underneath here. So after you get this off. All right, I had some uh, technical difficulties. It's somehow the camera went into slow motion. Um, not exactly sure what happened there, but anyway, you're going to find these two little um, bungee cord little ropes and and uh, the ends go into two little holes and it holds kind of the top section of the leather down. So uh, that's your last thing to do just to uh, to get those two, uh, remove them from the hole and, uh, you know, obviously don't, uh, well, the new one don't mess, mess them up too much and uh, they'll secure in that hole. All right, so let's put the, uh, the cover, the replacement cover back on. Um, first thing you do is put it inside out and orientation to the right direction. And we're gonna slip it over so we can actually just line up these holes to right here. And then we're just going to roll it down. So I've got the top on. It looks something like this. See how the uh, everything's still kind of rolled inside out. And we will start putting everything back together. Just line up that, line up this. And we'll start putting everything back together where it was. Uh, going in, the biggest thing is going in the correct order. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put these through the little slots so they come out the other side and then we'll attach them on the other side. So after you secure these two and secure this piece back in there, that's one of the harder things to do. Now after you do that, roll it down. Um, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. That little strap that goes around the airbag, I actually cut it. I kind of don't understand. The strap's gonna hold the airbag in, so what good is that gonna do? Anyway, maybe I'm doing the wrong thing, but 
to reattach that strap is uh, pretty difficult. So I'll just cut it. Now we're going to replace the hog ties. We're just gonna use zip ties. Uh, so that should be fine. So once you get the hog ties done, you can roll it pretty much all the way down. Now we're gonna reattach those two buttons with the little black backing back here to the frame. So once you've got it all pulled down, then feed these through the foam and they'll come up through the foam and then go into this hole right here. Same thing for this side, come through the foam up here. Right after you do that, just line up these two that snap together and you've done it. So this one's got more stretch to it. So you're gonna pull this one over and then bring this one so it snaps in. 